supernatural beings are always fascinating, but many of the most terrifying ones come from the land of the rising sun. Wow, he's huge! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mystical creatures from Japan. You finally made a friend. <laughs> Mama's so happy. For this list, we're only considering creatures that originated in Japanese folklore and myths, so characters invented for films do not qualify. Number 10, Joro Gumo. <laughs> Starting off our list with a touch of arachnophobia is the Joro Gumo. Also known as the Spider Woman, this Japanese creature is the epitome of a black widow. Joro Gumo's normal form is that of a giant spider, but can also transform itself into a beautiful woman. Listen to the tone of this koto. I made the strings from my finest silk. Her goal? She tempts men to join her in her quiet cottage, distracts them with beautiful music, then traps them in a web only to slowly consume them. Alternatively, a Jorogumo may pose as a woman who asks passers-by to hold her baby. But surprise, the baby is actually an egg sac that holds thousands of baby spiders waiting for their first meal. Our suggestion? Use protection, like Raid. <laughs> Number 9. Shirime Shirime takes the form of a rather normal human, with just a few exceptions. It doesn't have any facial features, and it has an eyeball instead of a butthole. While there isn't much information about people encountering the Shirime, there is one story detailing a meeting with the abnormality. As a lone samurai ventured down a desolate road, a man called his name and exposed his eye. Existing perhaps for no other reason than to cause hijinks, the Shirime was a muse for Japanese artist and poet Yosa Busson, as is evidenced by his many Shirime related works. Number 8. Akaname. It's an Akaname. If someone is dishonest with her ancestors, they bestow this fate. The Boogeyman exists in many different cultures, each having their own variations on the theme. The Akaname fills the Boogeyman role quite satisfactorily in Japanese lore, with its name loosely translating to Filth Liquor. Filth Liquor? Yeah, that's the one. Ooh. An eternity spent as a toilet brush. Often depicted as a red colored monster, the Akaname is a monster that lives in filthy places, especially bathrooms, and will lick away the grime it finds. While the origin of the Akaname story is widely debated, many people believe it was created by parents to motivate their children to keep their bathrooms spotless. That'd motivate us. <laughs> Number 7. Akamanto <laughs> Like our last entry, Akamanto's main domain is the bathroom. But this monster acts much more violently. The story goes that if you're alone in a public bathroom, and more often than not in the last stall, a strange voice will ask whether you want blue or red paper, or in certain accounts, a blue or red cape. Would you like to wear red clothes? Would you like to wear blue clothes? Pick blue and you'll be strangled to death, leaving your face blue. Pick red and you'll be ripped apart until your clothing is the color of blood. What the hell color should I ask for then? Thinking of escaping? Not happening. Yellow! I'll take yellow Charmin! Choosing a different color will cause Akamanto to drag your soul to hell. Oh my god! The only way to outsmart this urban legend is to request no paper at all. Just hang on! Hang on? Why didn't I think of that? Number 6. Kasha Tokuro While folklore can be incredibly complex, even the simplest creatures are terrifying. Kasha Tokoro is one of those cases, as it's merely a spirit that takes the form of a giant skeleton. <laughs> the skeleton consists of the accumulated bones of people who starved to death and is always looking for new additions. If Kasha Tokoro finds you, it will bite your head off and drain the blood from your body. While you can try to escape, this indestructible monster will continue wandering until it finds you again. And here's a warning. If you hear a ringing in your ears, look out. One might be nearby. <laughs> Number 5. 
Number five, Oni. So you can see it. Thank you. Brock said it was the diet pills. Can you get rid of it or what? Yes, yes, I have just the stuff. Call them devils, demons, trolls, or ogres. But the Oni are basically garden variety monsters, with a twist. While its appearance varies quite a bit depending on who's telling the tale, they are often pictured as giants with horns and spiky talons. A common spirit in Japanese folklore, the Oni is a rather brutish creature that wields a large club while wandering the country. This is the end of the line, soul. You played your last tune. It's my world now. Simultaneously thought of as invulnerable and strong as anything, the Oni's reputation has recently changed from that of a mischievous monster to more of a good luck charm. As such, these days they are sometimes used to defend against bad fortune. I wish. I can't remember the last time I got lucky in that car. Number four, Kitsune. Hmm. Feisty little thing, aren't you? Not all spirits have to be murderers, just mischief makers. With Kitsune acting as the literal translation of the word fox, this symbol is a common one in Japanese culture. Vulpix, a fox Pokemon. Its six tails are extremely beautiful. As it evolves, it grows even more tails. In ancient Japan, these animals coexisted harmoniously with humans, which is one reason why today, foxes are widely considered intelligent, mystical beings. <laughs> Though this view evolved as superstition took over, the kitsune are said to be able to shapeshift into human form, whether it's to play tricks on humans or to act as loyal companions. See, not all mystical creatures are bad. <laughs> this is supposed to be humorous? <laughs> You're stuck until you can get the spell scroll peeled off. Number three, Shinigami. Judging by your laughter, you've already figured out that what you have is no ordinary notebook. Well, it's back to the dark side with our next entry. Acting as the eastern equivalent of the West's Grim Reaper, the Shinigami are Japanese experts in all things death. These so-called death spirits tempt, encourage, or invite people to die. In some cases by turning their thoughts towards bad deeds they've committed, in others by possessing them, and in others simply by making them want to end their lives. <laughs> Now a common figure in Japanese manga and anime. Descriptions of the Shinigami diverge from telling to telling, but we know for a fact that they're one species of demon we'd rather not encounter. Number 2. Kappa With a name that loosely translates to River Child, this yokai, or supernatural monster from Japanese lore, is a mythological prankster, although sometimes those tricks take a turn for the serious or rapey. With the appearance of a small reptilian child, with other details varying from story to story, the kappa lives in Japan's ponds and rivers from which it draws its powers, which is perhaps why some think it was invented as a warning to kids about the dangers found in bodies of water. To this day, Signs can be found posted near bodies of water throughout Japan, warning of the kappa. As such, some drownings have been pinned on the kappa. However, if you're able to trick one into subservience, their moral code makes them unable to resist. Before we astonish ourselves with our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> Let me tell you of love, Kai. The love of one night that brought you into this world. You don't come across a black Tsuchinoko this big every day, you know. And I still have to upload pictures of it to my blog. Oh, maybe it'll become a meme. Number one, Kuchisake Onna. <sighs> Welcome to your new nightmare. Originating in the 1970s or possibly even before, this creature comes in the form of a woman wearing a surgical mask. 
who asks those she meets if she's pretty. Say no, and she'll use her trusty scissors to cut you up. Answer yes, and she'll reveal what's beneath her mask, a face with a mouth cut from ear to ear. Am I pretty now? Am I pretty now? Yes, pretty. Then why don't I make you pretty like me? She'll also make sure that by the end of your encounter, your face will match hers. With sightings of this spirit occurring as recently as 2004 in South Korea, the slit-mouthed woman is said to have been disfigured by her own husband. And now, she seems to spend her days chasing children. <coughs> Do you agree with our list? <coughs> what mystical creature from Japan interests you the most? For more mesmerizing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. How was Japan? Fan-freaking-tastic! How'd you know? Call it a hunch.